Yeah. Kevin, it's right for you. Yeah, thank you. Should I open it? Sure. Oh. I'm gonna have to do this envy with this jacket on. That's tough. <laughs> Damn, that's fire. Appreciate Jeff Hamilton for these jackets, man. Huh. This is a limited edition jacket designed by Jeff Hamilton and commissioned by the NBA to commemorate Kevin Durant as one of the 75 greatest players in NBA history. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Next world. Felt like a longer season than usual. A lot went on with our team as far as changes to the roster, guys in and out the lineup, coaching in and out the lineup. But it feels like that's just been a circumstance since I've been here. We had to fight through a lot of small obstacles uh, in order for us to build to where we want to get to. And I think these times are gonna build character as an organization. So it may be tough in the moment, but it's working towards something special. When the season began and he was playing at the level that he was playing at, obviously you start talking about being the most valuable player. Seven seconds, Durant looks at the clock. Durant, oh, a major splash! Durant, money! Kevin's, he's just incredible. I mean, his uh, level of play is insane. Kevin Durant on the season is shooting 57% from the field, leading the NBA in scoring. He's lethal, he's lethal. Uh, the game is slowed down. I kind of know what I want to do out there, and studying the game these last 15 years, you know, I'm able to adjust to certain situations. So got to keep growing, keep learning, keep being a student. They double Durant. Mills back to Durant, fade away. Got it! Got it! What a big time hit! Straight assassin. Going at Sadiq Bay. Can he get 50? Yes, he can! 51 for Kevin Durant! The challenge of winning is fun to me. So no matter who's out on the floor, we want to play to win. Durant, 15 footer right wing. Going on, wow, KD. The next short hand, get it done. I figured my best way to lead is to lead by example. I want to inspire my teammates by how I approach the game, how I play, how much I care about it, and hopefully it rubs off on them. Best record in the Eastern Conference. You know, we just got to keep plugging away, man. It's a long season. He's been doing everything for this team. Here's Durant slashing through. Oh, yeah. Puts the foul. Ten straight games with 25 or more for Durant. I watched all of these guys that I'm, like, passing up. You know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to be like them. I wanted to be in the NBA like them. And to be up there with some of the greats on, on that list is, uh, is incredible. I just got to keep going. The nights he's had to close games down the stretch to defend at the rate he's defended at. They put it all together and it's been uh, just an incredible start to the season. Kevin Durant is going to go back to the Nets locker room and not what the Nets want to see. It's a big hit. You know, you feel it energetically. It's just the presence in the locker room. 
Uh, we just got to face the reality, man, just move forward. You know, our time's coming. You know, no, it, it's coming. Play with pace, play with space, quick decisions. Also, we can get paint touches. So we've said this before. When we touch the paint, our points for possession is elite, elite, elite. When it's not, it's basement, basement, basement. So pace, space, quick decisions. Big time buzz, not only within, you know, the organization, but also among the fans. They've been waiting for this for quite some time. Nearly 50 days they've been waiting to see Kevin Durant take the court once again, watching all the struggles from this team being right there near first place in the Eastern Conference to dropping back to where they are in eighth with 19 games to go. To see what we went through this year was a shock to a lot of people on the outside. But when you come inside our locker room, we conduct business just the same no matter what. Guys are professionals. Veteran guys in that locker room have been doing it for a long time. So no matter what's thrown at us, we know how to operate. He is a guy that wants to master his craft at all times. So it's been impressive watching him, watching him prepare day in and day out. You know, he knows what's at stake. He knows what's on the table for this season. So it's going to be terrific for the rest of the group to start coming together. And, and we're going to need it, to be quite frank. There's a sense of urgency. I know Kevin feels it. We all feel it. So the more this group can get around each other, the sooner the better is what we're going to need. from 15 light work and with that bucket he reaches the 25,000 point plateau the 23rd NBA player to reach that I told him in the locker room you're a savant. You are an artist. You you have clipped history, and he will forever be remembered as a legend in our game. And for me, it just it motivates me to continue to get my game up. What I like about Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, they're in it together in a partnership, and you have to be all in to win a championship. And I think they're committed to doing that in Brooklyn. Irving, good hands, comes up with a steal. Racing into the paint, Irving able to finish. I seen it in his eyes to start the game. He let us all night hit big shots when we needed to. Durant goes cross court, Irving finger tips it in. One of the best to ever do what he does. As a teammate, you don't want to get caught up watching and get mesmerized, but that's what happens sometimes. Going for the 50 piece. been saying it, it's pure. Everything he does is pure. Incredible, incredible performance. Like, younger players should watch this game, learn what it takes to score at that level. As 5'10", 5'11", uh, for him to score that easy, I mean, that was just a master class. I mean, there's a friendly, healthy competition between these two superstars. Well, no question, it fuels one another and I think that the concept of being around greatness how much they push one another and how much they just have such a high level of admiration not just for the performances but they know the preparation that went into it Durant on blast got it KD with a chance for a three point play this guy is absolutely ridiculous it's fun to watch <laughs> it's fun to watch and fun to be a part of uh, he's the best player in the world Straight line drive and sets it with his chest. Boy, they're all up on Kevin Durant. But they gave him a little daylight. Deadly. Durant. Dynamite. Kevin Durant with 53. It just shows you how immensely talented they both are. And the game where Kyrie went off, I mean, that was that was a sight to behold. Kyrie gets it back. Three point in the corner. Special to watch him every night, but special to watch him on nights like this. You know, he's in total control, total command, you know, gets wherever he wants, and is able to finish amongst the trees. A pleasure to see it up close and to, uh, to be a part of it. Again. Are you kidding me? Airway Center getting the show. 39 for time. You know, 
know, just that competition level, it just, it just comes out of me. And, and I appreciate it because the, the team that I have in that locker room, they just really, really give me that energy, man. Her on the move, looking for 50, off the window! The game of basketball, we both look at it as an art form, and every time down, anything can happen. And you gotta be prepared for any situation. And yeah, when we approach the game with that artist-like mentality, it's always fun when you end up with nights like this. The handoff, quick trigger, Irving, 60! 60! Kyrie Irving! And he is now the franchise record holder for most points in a single game, and did so in spectacular fashion. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir, boys. History. More history be made, man. More history be made, man. What to do? You can see that we're both in a nice little groove right now. You know, we want to continue, and we know this is a huge night for Kai. But he even said it coming into the locker room. It's like we got more to do, and I love that mentality, even on a special night like this. Making history, man. Making history and, uh, you know, doing it that guy is very special. Our guys in our locker room, they, they really believe in us. They really rock with us. There's not a doubt in our mind that they really believe that we can do something special and not just this year, but for years to come. You know, we have we have a good group and we're all sacrificing something that's bigger than ourselves. So when we come into the locker room, we just enjoy being with each other and playing the game that we love. Okay, you got to decide if you're going over or under who you guard right there. But being into the ball here, it's going to allow you to shoot over or under. Okay? Yeah, I think Kevin can be in the ball. And then, Kevin, you could also talk this one. Right? There's always going to be talented players in the league, but the ones that are going to be great and sustain that greatness, they have to want it. You clearly see it with Kevin Durant, always looking to get better, wanting to improve his craft. Kevin's incredible. I mean, the ability, the sacrifices, the resilience, the passion for the game. And that's what you see out there. You see, obviously, someone that has gifts, uh, but someone who has worked to master and to refine those gifts endlessly. The mental edge that he has over opponents is very similar to Mike Tyson in his prime. The moment KD steps on the court, you already know he's in the opponent's edge. I think we're all very fortunate to be able to see a player of Kevin's caliber out there and we all get caught up as fans and, and just watching him. If you don't know anything else about Kevin, you have to know that he absolutely loves basketball. Oh my gosh. He's unreal. He makes the game look so easy. Nothing faces him. Kevin Durant, easy money, baby. Ain't nobody can play like Katie. Best player on the planet, yeah, best scorer to ever touch a basketball. The way he handles the ball and the way he shoots the ball is like nothing else I've seen. You got that guy on your team? Good luck to the opposition, because you got to stop him. He's like nobody else. Defense really doesn't affect him. KD jump shot is unstoppable. Guarding KD is just basically impossible. Two defender, no problem. Kevin is like the most unaffected basketball player I think I've ever been around. Like it doesn't matter how good a defense you play, like you're just trying to make it a more difficult shot. He's a cheat code. There's no one on planet Earth that can do what he does as efficiently as he does it. When you watch a guy able to completely take over a game, change a game, and do it at his speed. That's hard to even put into words. What he does nightly, despite blitzing, despite the best defender coming at him. This season, teams have been throwing everything at me to try to slow me down. We practice for teams to come double me or triple me. It's only gonna make me better as a player. The mental side of the game, that's where I continue to keep growing and seeing things, seeing new defenses, new schemes. So I, I like to look at it as a sign of respect, but also a teacher moment as well. What I've seen from Kevin is just another level of mastery that he's going past at this point. I'm a proud fan. I'm a proud brother. 
you know, but ultimately I'm, I'm just a proud friend of his to, to see him grow on and off the floor, but he's flourishing. It's such a privilege to be able to watch KD night in and night out. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to witness this type of athlete. Enjoy it while you can because these kind of players do not come around very often. This is like a different level kind of guy. I can't be the best version of me without my teammates and vice versa. I mean, we all work together and work for one another. I truly believe that the spirit of the game is all about us working as one, from the coaches to the trainers to the front office to the players. We all have to be on the same page if we want to compete and be successful in this league. I feel like my purpose is to prove to my teammates every day that I am who I say I am, that I work hard, that I care about the game, that I love to play, and I can't miss a day. And I feel like a lot of my teammates take on that same perspective too. So when you got a collective of guys doing that, that's when you start building a, a group. That's how you take these young boys to school. <laughs> boys, do, boys only doing one year college now. So you gotta give them a little lesson when they come up here. Chop. Hey, make sure you get the footage of this. Chop. Chop. That's a foul. No, it's not. <laughs> He went super hard too. We only can control what we can control moving forward. We know where we are in the standings, and uh, we also know how much talent we have in that locker room and what we're capable of doing. So the mentality we have moving forward is, is just take it one day at a time, live in the moment, and enjoy it. Because nothing's guaranteed here. I think we're building something that basketball fans can get behind. I think we have a lot of skill and a lot of IQ in our building. And it's on us to bring it together and have it working like a well-oiled machine. Oh no! Oh yes! Kevin Durant is in the lab! It is a new career high for Kevin Durant, 55 points. I think we just have to be locked in to the moment. You know, there's a clarity there for us. And we need to be prepared for the plan. So we just go day to day, try to improve, try to play well, try to learn from our performances and try to gain some continuity and rhythm and understanding uh, with these remaining games. Just focus on the next game that's in front of us. Every day matters, you know? We want to be a champion every second that you step on the floor. I think being a champion is in the habits and the work ethic, the care, that you have for the game. Having a championship mentality every day as an individual.